So, first review of 2020, first pickup of 2020. Let's get to it. What's good guys, Ash Bash back again with another sneaker review and this is for the Nike Dunk Low Black and White. So as all of you guys are probably all too aware, last year was definitely one of the years for Dunks, especially Nike SB, but regular Dunks, they had a, a crazy time. So many pairs came out, some dope ones, some not so dope ones, but on the whole, it was a pretty good year for Nike Dunk releases and 2021, it ain't slowing down. There's more and more pests to come out. The only unfortunate thing for a lot of people is the quality is, <coughs> it's going down, unfortunately. They're not like what we have come to expect for some of the good ones. They're kind of B grade materials from the likes of it, but the colorways are dope. I got a dope colorway right here. So let's get to this one. Let's see if it's as bad as we think. So as usual, comes in your standard um, Nike box. Red and black uh, on the box itself. It says Nike Dunk Low Retro Colorway White, Black and White. And I got this in a UK 10, which is US 11, which is true to size, which is what I pretty much rock for all my dunks. I have tried going out half a size once in a while, but it tends to be huge. So I'd say true to size in general, but enough of the box, let's get to the shoe. And boom, here is the shoe in all its glory. And yeah, I agree, the shoe is pretty damn fire, I must say. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, Ashbrash Sneakers, by the way, you would know that there has been a shoe that I've wanted since it released, which is the Nike Dunk Ambush, which is that high, crazy, black and white dunk, similar to this, but it's a bit more special than this pair. I really wanted that bad, struck out on that. Prices are now gone crazy, but luckily, this is gonna have to be the backup for that. A nice 90 pound cheaper version of a low, which is more wearable than the big 400 plus per, um, version of the Ambush is what it is. But anywho, let's get some close-ups of this shoe, see what the quality is like, see what the little details of like of this pair right here. So if you've seen one pair of Nike Dunk Lows before, you've seen them all, um, nothing much different. It's your same standard Nike Dunk silhouette. Super nice, super clean. In this colorway, this black and white is something that I've wanted for the longest time. I really love the Jordan 1 High in black and white, such a simple shoe. They released a Panda, like I think it was 2018 maybe. And when I first saw it, I was like, oh, they're finally doing it, but it ended up being a Panda. It was a women's colorway and it was furry. Furry kicks are okay, but not when the leather version would have been so much better. But I digress. Anywho, um, so yeah, standard Nike Dunk silhouette. You got this black leather going around the toe box here. It is not the best leather of all time, let's be honest. It's not terrible, but it's not super duper amazing. The leather on the toe box, let me pull this in, in and out so you can actually, so I can actually feel it. Yeah, unfortunately it's that sort of cardboardy leather that you get with some Nikes. Like, it's not soft at all. It's gonna be an instant crease once you wear it, but Kind of what to expect from Nike, especially at this price point, unfortunately. I don't think it's right, believe me. I think for 90 pounds, you should still get a decent shoe, but with Nike, it ain't gonna happen. The middle panel of this shoe is all white again. That same plasticky leather with the nice black swoosh. Go around to the back of the shoe, you have Nike written on the back there in white font. I don't know if anyone's seen that picture online, but some person's shoe, literally this part is missing and it literally says, vike at the back of the shoe it feels like because of quarantine and all that it feels like nike their qc was already bad but they're just like not checking at all anymore how those um sb atmos came out they were just horrible now i'm getting pairs where the nike it's not even saying nike on the back outrageous anywho middle side of the shoe pretty much the same again it's a pretty simple shoe black and white black and white black and white there on the top of the shoe where it says Nike, nice little touch. And inside the shoe, if you can see that in the shadow, it says Nike as well. It's a very nice shoe, very standard shoe. Like, it's not one of them shoes where I would say, you must own these, go and pay 300 pound resale for these. I think these aren't going for that crazy high price at the moment. Hopefully they don't because they're not worth it. 
It's a nice shoe to have, obviously nicer to have it for retail, but in my opinion, don't pay over 150 for these because the quality just ain't there. The looks are there, they're fire. I think the Vast Greys, super fire. The Vast Grey Highs, I was super close to buying them, but I decided after I heard about the materials, I was like, my first pair, do I really, really want to do that? I'm not going to do it. And this pair, I really wanted it just because of the colorway itself. So it was a no brainer. Easy to wear with everything. And yeah, very happy for this purchase to be my first of um, 2021. Oh yeah, how did I forget? An on feet Porsche. Let's get to it. And we're back. So that was a quick look at these on feet. Night Dunk, black and white. Uh, as I said at the start of the video, pretty much true to size, um, nothing else really to say. Whatever you rock in Nikes in general, if you've had a Dunk before or Jordan 1, that's exactly the same size that I go for. So stick to that. I wear UK 10 in pretty much all my Nike products. UK 10 in this as well. It is what it is. 2020 was crazy for pickups. I did, as I said, I did a whole video of my top 20 pickups of 2020 and I had loads that could have been in it as well. So I'm hoping 2021 is good for sneaker pickups because better shoes is always good if you're a sneaker collector like myself, but I also don't want to be buying everything. Like the Fast Greys, as I said, very nice shoe, but I said to myself, Ash, do you need them? No, you don't. And is it a pair that you're gonna wear often? No, it ain't. So why are you paying resale for it? Kind of got to be clever. I see a lot of people want to buy, want to buy anytime anything comes out. Like they can't take it L. You can't be like that. That ain't life. You got to actually take it on the chin sometimes and actually get just the things that you want. And this is the pair that I wanted. And shout out to the wifey. She's the one that actually won these on the raffle. I took a super duper L on every raffle that I entered and she won these on the Nike app. So shout out to the girl, shout out to the wifey one time. Anywho, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Ashbash Sneakers, dope pictures, pretty much posted every day. And yeah, I'm out. Later, y'all.